The stormy weather is going to continue to be with us through the rest of the evening hours, but slowly fade as we get into the overnight hours, leading to some patchy, dense fog on our Monday morning. Hi, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher. Again, track the latest rain in the forecast with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free download from the App Store. Just search East TN Weather, all one word. Here's your forecast for the rest of the evening hours. Again, temperatures will fall into the 70s. We've got the stormy weather, heavier rain showers that have been falling around the area. Again, those will quickly wind down as we get past sundown and probably closer to bedtime here tonight. Uh, but boy, I tell you what, these rain showers have really been putting down a lot of heavy rain. And that's going to be the story as we get into our Monday, Tuesday, and maybe again on Wednesday as we have a water-loaded atmosphere that's going to produce those tropical-like downpours. So Monday morning, partly cloudy skies. We're going to have some patchy, dense fog, but should be relatively dry around the area. We're not like looking at rain showers necessarily to be with us. But Monday, we do again have a level one, level two risk for some localized flooding and flash flooding issues or concerns due to the fact that we've got, again, a water loaded atmosphere. That's going to lead to showers and thunderstorms again as another wave of energy swings through during the day on Monday. We'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms probably for the first half of the day. And we'll do it again for the second half of the day. So we all have those elevated rain chances. But if you've seen a lot of rain over the last, uh, well, say five week, five days to a week or so, and we continue to get rounds and rounds of rain over the same locations, that's what's going to be the concern for the localized flooding and or flash flooding threat. Temperatures will come down on Monday, but climb right back up into the upper 80s to near 90 on Tuesday and Wednesday. So elevated rain chances all the way through Tuesday, and then we'll start to fade those away, just uh, seeing some pop-up showers and thunderstorms for the latter part of the week. Remember, the Weather Prediction Center is the one who issues uh, the flood risk across much of the country, uh, and so they do have a an, uh, 1 and 2 risk for, uh, well, we saw it on Sunday. We'll see it again on into our Monday and maybe again on into our Tuesday. So we have several days now of a water-loaded atmosphere that leads to tropical-like downpour. So it's going to continue to pile up around the Appalachian region over the next three, five, and seven days. Next week, our dew points are going to climb into the mid-70s. Yuck! That's going to make it feel incredibly hot because temperatures are coming up. A little bit above average, nothing too crazy, but because dew points are expected to be in the mid-70s, that's going to lead once again to heat index values pushing close to the heat advisory criteria, which is 105 degrees. So something to keep in mind if you work outside next week. Uh, when we're talking severe weather chances, severe weather does ramp up on into our Tuesday as we do have a lot more instability in the atmosphere. And as we round out the month of July, head into the month of August, looks like the Climate Prediction Center is still predicting the possibility of above average temperatures. So as I mentioned from the get-go, stay in the know with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's everything you need for weather here in East Tennessee, giving you past, current, and future radar with the interactive radar. Lightning data, you'll get a push notification when lightning is within 15 miles of your location, which gives you the first indication that, hey, I better check in on the radar and see what's going on. So download it today. Just search East TN Weather, all one word, from your app store. We sure hope you have a great rest of your evening again. Try to stay as dry as you can. We'll see you back here for your next weather update at 9 o'clock.